Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved journey in the universe of War Tales. We're in the Veltrus province where I am trying to first of all make a living and get to know the province a little bit better and today on our agenda will be to get a couple of rewards and then progress the storyline up in the north a little bit further plus um, get revenge on the plague rats and I figured something out I'll do that towards the end of uh, the episode we are quite short on uh, carrying capacity so I'm thinking about getting a second pony yep you heard that right Murphy the pony would get a second companion maybe his ex-wife uh, will make a reappearance here but that needs to be decided. I figured uh, that'll only cost us some food. It won't uh, influence the combats at, at all. And we have plenty of food, but we do not have a lot of carrying capacity. Before we can do that though, we're running into a couple of boars. So let's warm up, get uh, the combat a little bit started, Dilly G. Zoe. So we got those stones here. I'm always looking for ways of uh, channeling the enemies into either positions where they uh, where they really need to funnel in, or alternatively um, trying to use terrain to my advantage. Well, this here looks okay. Front line, and we're stabbing it from the side. We have a trade, Valorous, on, I think, Dilly G, if I'm not mistaken. Valiant, yeah. If you're if the group starts the battle with less than two Valor points, it, grants up, uh, it gets up to two, which is great. Um, the other trick that I learned just recently was to use Namri more precisely the tactical order because tactical order will double the amount um, of of um, order or valor that you gain and the combination together with Ender Sender's galvanizing troop is just too good to not do it uh, twice the amount is just fantastic so we're putting Enders here and we start the encounter by moving a bit closer, giving Enders a that. So we're spending one Valor before we're moving up here and starting to hit the boar. Uh, for full protection, we're just going to get deflection going and that'll be it. Okay, so now here's the trick, right? No, that's not good enough. There we go. Full. Eight Valor points. <laughs> All right. I like these little tricks. Dirty little, dirty little tricks. Hitting the boar from behind. Maiming it. Yep. And whilst we're at it. Uh, let's move a little bit further. That's one. And we're getting the hive toss. That's two. Fantastic. And since we don't want to stay in the front, we're just weaseling ourselves out. Ender Sanders, great action economy, great skills. Love it. Good. In the meantime, we have this new weapon, which allows us to get the protective position. 
uh, protection means our guard is doubled. So I think what we're going to do for now is moving up here. Matter of fact, moving to here so that we have a proper front line. Hit. Now guard is doubled. And for full, uh, for full fun, we're also weakening it. Uh, the protective strike doesn't even cost valor, uh, valor and we're at the 80% guard which was the reason why these guys were not taking any damage whatsoever potentially I wouldn't even need to strategize as deeply as I'm doing but it's fun to uh, to understand the concepts and see them in action finally Fantastic. Dilly is self-sufficient. So he begins to move up here. Not optimal. Because we haven't... We haven't stopped right next to someone and we're a bit behind. I should give her a better movement skill or more movement in general. Because now she can't really work with what she's having. But instead of uh, hurting our own, we're just going to end the turn. Bit of a wasted one. She needs more movement. Polly moves up. And makes sure that the enemies are regretting their life choices. Fire has the problem that we're always starting to burn ourselves. However, we do have that good old thing called first aid, which we're going to use next turn. For now, double the damage and we're ending our turn. So that's another valor point right there. Dilly moves up, hits the boar, kills it. Goes all the way to the edge, extends his range. Fantastic. End of turn. But we want to get rid of the fire, right? Right. So. Move up. Gets rid of the fire. And we improve the relationships thanks to healing. Move up. Gain an additional uh, Veiler. I wish we could delay. That would be very helpful. Shot, shot dead moves back stays there move up deflection done move up Deflection done. This is our front line. Moving further up. Bit of a poison bomb. And we're just ending the turn. Oh, 
Oh, this is really a close corridor. Moves up. Thankfully, we do have sprint. That's what we're talking about. Fury and... Done. Can we capture these guys? We're going to figure that out in a second. Moves away. Good, we'll figure that out. We do have rope, but apparently you can't capture them. Yeah, I was hoping, the, the whole setup, I, I was hoping that we could capture them. Unfortunately, that really didn't work out well. How far are we with our studies? Okay, we're almost done uh, researching that, which is great. Torch, we got plenty of rope. Uh, that was not the reason why it didn't work. One meal, uh, one of those sausages, and a bit of happiness drink. Increases troops happiness, increases the strength. I think we'll go with the strength. Uh, but we don't have enough food yet. Now it's good. Yeah, with all of those, uh, with all of the happiness, our influence is just skyrocketing, and that is indeed very, very helpful. I won't last long at this rate. My ribs hurt. I still can't see clearly. Medicine. Re uh, mm. After rest, uh, the Valor points earned by the troops are reduced. Oh, no, 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 no. And Resenders will get the Risk bonus trade. Wages increase. Nah. We'll give you a medicine. There you go. Anders, don't start to negotiate on your wages, my dude. You're well paid. But I can understand if uh, he really had a longer injury. Then of course he might be unhappy. Well, there we go. That's the troop we were looking for. Level four, these are pretty much even fights. And I'm still waiting that we can uh, learn a bit more about armor smithing and weapon smithing to be precise. All right, so how are we going to go about it? I think that's a solid setup. Jim from the side. Enemies. Uh, Joss the Coward is going to go first. We're using our typical trick, tactical order, into moving up. Showing the raider who's boss. Some encouragement and some extra protection for us in the front line. End of turn. Could have used the encouragement a bit earlier so that everybody takes 30% less damage, but that's okay. He gets deflection. 
Now we're not going to fight against him. What do these guys have? They have fire, so we don't want to mess with them. And if possible, I would like to get him down. Nice little crit from Dilly here. Uh, he is not burning, but he is in the mud and he is slowed. So there is a very good chance that he won't have the reach to get to us. Yeah, that was an interesting maneuver that you just pulled, my friend. Okay, moving to here. We'll hit him. I think the rallying cry next round would be helpful. We'll move up here. Uh, so we're getting that extra Valor. And unfortunately, he was still hitting us. It's there, then shouts, gives us eight valor. Can we put waypoints in? No, potentially not, right? Good hit. Um, where's our offhand and why don't why don't we have that mm -hmm. we ran out of bee grenades that's unfortunate all right can't get any closer I was hoping to finish off uh, this guy. Okay, well, Miss Grell needs to go and take uh, the frontline position. Which we are doing. There is the in position, and that is the weakening blow. Enemy is starting to burn. Move up. Move further up. That was unfortunately the only target that we could find, but everybody who is currently engaged gets uh, repost, which is a good way of just dealing extra damage. I don't want to move further because he is burning and I don't want uh, JP Pauly to burn. 
This guy took a solid 21 points of uh, damage. Great. Moving over here through both layers of mud. Henchman takes a shot. And Henchman is pushed back. The only better position would be one next to Jim, so that we got a Valor point back. Enders is now finally burning as well. Hmm. So. Enders moves up, hits three. Very aggressive positioning. Kills one. Poisons a three. And then moves back without uh, starting to burn. He just has a little bit of poison because he walked through his own poison. And now he's burning as well. Unfortunate. Alright, Dilly makes their life here a living hell. More burning. And I think we're just going to push back the raider. Who apparently is not push backable. That's even a word. Dilly continues to stand here. Gets a bit closer over here so that he can get uh, can get first aided. End of turn. There is the repost we were looking for. Henchman takes shot. Henchman takes another shot and will likely be out of combat. We're moving up, healing, and we'll get that one uh, Valor point back. All right, so we got still a couple of enemies here. Moves up. Hmm, I could double that damage, but I could also wait for that. We could wait all the way in and kill this guy. He can still act. We would be burning. But that's okay. That's how JP Pauly uh, rolls. He moves in and kills everyone. Doesn't care whether or not he takes some measly burned, uh, burn damage. There, that's, by the way, the repost right there. And that's the extra damage that he's taking. Very nice.
All right. Head. Another head. And we're done. Wow, he almost killed himself with that one. I think Namri for now is just deflecting. And that's it. Move up. Nice little crit. Fortunately, we can't heal Ender Senders. Not yet, but we can do that next turn. All right, new round. Anders moves in. Kills one. Galvanization for everyone. Charges out. And we're not standing adjacent. Oh wait, we are not burning, right? Now I'll keep the one Valor point. Good, we're already burning here. That's one hit. And that's a kill. Uh, we are going to parry again. End of turn. Heal to get Ender Senders back. Move. Hit. Uh, and we're getting one Vela point for just standing next to someone else. Nice little crit. Another crit, okay, cool. One Valor point for standing next to someone. And I think he's just dying, yeah. Okay, they didn't want to give up, but that's fine. Easy fight for us. Good, good. And I think think that shield might be better than the one that we have let's just double check oh yeah deflection and this also has deflection as a skill just double checking miss grell Gets the reinforced buckler, buckler, and yeah, our front line is stronger than ever. And these guys here are coming at a perfect time. By the way, Ender Senders, please take a proper offhand. Might I interest you, my humble wares, my good sir? Yes, you can, indeed. Let me do that. And the trinket needs to go. And that, and that. And we're okay on the carrying capacity. Medicine is fine. Repairs are also still fine. Good. 
So next up, I promised you we wanted to go up here. And after slaughtering these uh, these bandits, we're actually progressing the storyline. So if I recall correctly, the peasants were unhappy about all of the crops decaying, so they wanted us to look into the vineyard. Okay, before we do anything, I learned my lesson. Let's first of all double check all of the stuff here. Can we get the horse? I actually need a horse. Of course we reported the attack. The guards searched the area all day with no luck. It may not be obvious at first glance, but I was a scholar. All right, so a couple of slaves here. Pure. Risking my life with two months to go before I can be a free woman again. How stupid! You're mercenaries, right? I need your help, and I'm willing to pay. Just name your price. My vineyard's the only healthy one left in the whole province. So I have to guard it at night in case some jealous so-and-so tries to get my crop. But I was attacked. I was knocked unconscious. And if my daughter and slaves hadn't chased the rascal away, I'd probably be dead. I can deal with thieves, but murderers? That's a task for professionals like her. You must be in the fields by nightfall and guard the place until dawn. All right. Well, that's easy enough. That is indeed easy enough. So we do have five knowledge points, right? And I could learn a few things. Uh, we don't need anything in the camp. I would really love to get more weapons. A light pony plate would be fun as well, but I think Murphy is in this playthrough more carrying the, the equipment than frontlining as a war pony. I could learn extra recipes, but I feel it's easier to purchase these. I've already learned all of uh, that, so I think we're just going to stay with five. Uh, everything that exceeds five, we're going to uh, spend. But seeing that we have like these blacksmith apprentice sets, right? I wonder, you're a blacksmith apprentice. Okay, I see. We just need to forge more grind until you are a better blacksmith okay well we can do that what we need for it though is blacksmithing material i will need to see what kind of experience we're getting we already got rid of all of our first time craft bonuses so that's gone and we've almost crafted all of uh, the blacksmith material so far But all we need to do is stay here in the night. Time to go into the fields. And there we go. We find the attackers or plunderers.
Looks like the old loop woman hired some mercenaries. What a surprise. All right, we're slightly tired, but I think we can still take them on. We got Valiant. Uh, what does... Oh, reduced by 30%. Well, that's not good. Okay, so we got four over here and four over here. One archer there. I think we're going to storm the archer. Bomb rush uh, that. Unfortunately, we don't have enough uh, space around it. Hmm. There would be one more space here that actually would be incredibly helpful. Dilly is fast, we can move over. Miss Grell is fast. None of these guys can engage, so I can move. Good, you guys are orderly now. I'm moving up and we are defending this section. Yeah, mud isn't as bad as fire. Good, we're moving up. I uh, can't really recoil shot him because we would need two Valor points in order to do that. But it's okay, we at least hit him once. Move up. That's one. That's a solid two. We're getting a Valor point. Let's disengage even if that means we're taking another hit. We are moving over here, deflection, and end of turn. These guys will be coming, but they won't uh, deal any damage. Alright, this is a really poor spot. Uh, all of this apparently is blocking, so this is the only passage. Wow, we would need to go all the way around. There's a second archer, unfortunately. Yeah, that's good enough. Six. All right. Moves to here. 
moves all the way through. Starts moving up. One hit. Both of you are burning. We're finishing uh, this archer. I don't want to start burning myself. Unfortunately, we can't run at the moment. So we will start burning. Or we're disengaging, which results in burning as well. Oh, wow. Full damage even. Okay. I thought they would need to disengage with their main weapon, not with uh, uh, with the offhand weapon, uh, so with their melee weapon, not with their main weapon. Oh, that's not good. Enders is in a bit of a trouble, a troublesome situation here. to here and we are engaging with uh, the other archer mainly to save enders think how we're going to go about that I will not do ovation yet I need the points for something else move up pushing them further forward and We're getting more Valor. That's a kill. That's more fire. more poison again uh, for the heavily armored enemies um, I just have two poison damage but we have three hit points so that's still good enough we're just moving out uh, of uh, range and that's okay Oh, well, it's not okay, apparently. We took three points of damage, not, a, not just two. Let's hope that poison isn't uh, level. Okay, so moving up, opening the room here we gain deflection ourselves Okay, well, we're not right next to the enemy, but we can heal next turn. Uh, we're not right next to our allies, but we can heal next turn. Uh, he won't die, not yet.
All right, moving back. Delhi uh, slows them down. Good. Sentry is being hit. Pushed and slowed down that way. It's not going to go down to Dilly. We're moving over here and we're getting back one Valor point. Beginning him. Moving up and we're putting the flexion up. Very good. This guy's almost down. Good hit. Yep, end of turn. Minimum hit. Okay, cool. Slowly but surely getting uh, Valor back. How about... Hmm. I want to kill someone. One, two, and yeah, that's not a kill. Moving slightly back. Unfortunately, our damage is reduced due to us being tired. Probably, I don't want him to take fire damage, so we're actually finishing this one here. He now has fury, which means we're just moving up, blocking this guy, and we're good. All right, gaining Valor back. End of turn. This guy is effectively killing himself. Delete triple hits. Moves a slight bit further. And then pushes them forward. Pushing shot is such a great ability. Good, starting slowly but surely to get them down. More Valor. Yeah, they they are stuck here on the terrain. He just killed himself.
I want to burn. That's the problem. Hence, we're going here, deflection, and that's about it. <laughs> they are still being... Um, uh, being slowed down. He just killed himself. Yep. Alright, so what else do we want to do? We need to heal. Moves to here. Deflection, done. Taking a couple of rain shots and turn, get Valor. Move up. Now we're rather healing instead of dropping dropping that poison. Getting one Valor back. All of them are burning. I could rush forward, but we're not going to do that. All right. Grell is now burning as well. We don't need to weaken them. I'll just keep my position. Unfortunately, the burning will, ta uh, will take over if we're not careful. Slightly moving back. Front line moves in. Engages and we are having a proper battle at our hands. These guys are burning. Move up. Hit and uh, get one Valor.
Okay, move up. Hit all four of them with po uh, with poison since they are highly armored. That's one of the few things that will really start dealing damage to them. In the meantime, can't really hit him. So we are moving down here, out of range. This is where the second uh, line really shines. We're getting Valor just for standing there. And we're moving over to here. Very good. Yeah, now finally poison is starting to tick up. Moving up, get that extra Valor, Enders. Don't want to burn, that's my only re requirement. Good, all four of them take another bottle of poison. That and that and we are out. Wonderful. Now these guys take a lot of damage. Fire and uh, and poison effectively deal. Uh, well, poison not, but fire seems to deal percent of hit points uh, damage. Yeah, he just hit himself for 26. Wow. Yep, 26 for him as well. Very good. Wow, what an extensive fight. Fights here are definitely harder than the ones that we had so far. Only 51 uh, experience. Ah, well done. What a bloodbath. Now that they are all dead, how will I know why they attacked my vineyard? Do you want to sleep in these fields for the rest of your life? For my family's peace of mind, I must find out who those men were. To start with, there's that strange plant they were carrying around. I've never seen anything like it in Gosenberg. The trackers might be able to help. They live out in the wild traveling from province to province if anyone knows okay cool well a couple of things number one dexterity plus seven bow already got that number two heavy armor how does that compare 
a little bit more armor, a little bit less guard. Straight up a slight improvement for an Emery, which is good. Unfortunately, all of our soldiers had a really tough time getting experience. Well, Diddy is almost level five. Uh, that's at least reassuring. But it felt that the battle actually was harder than anticipated. Or longer than anticipated, should I say. Ah, can we negotiate? Or should we fight? Oh boy, this is going to be an extra long episode. Good, so for starters, these are random schmucks, right? They just attacked us out of nowhere. Level four, strong schmucks, but still random. Okay, where are the range damage dealers? Poacher here, poacher there, poacher there. What are they doing? Straight up vicious shots. Okay, no fire, that's good. Frontline, Namri, yes, Miss Grell, yes. what we could do is uh, let me think that through Jim can get Jim can get uh, some Valor as well I'm just thinking about how to use uh, the tactical order in the most appropriate way so what we're going to do is we're moving to here both of you get orderly we're barely making it there and we're starting the conflict. And for good measure. Wow, she's now the bravest of the brave? What does that even mean? Okay. Suppose that's a good trait. Not sure though. Um, tell you what, we're engaging. No need to hold back. Moves up. Strikes and gets in position with that. And I think we're just going to protect ourselves. A little bit of poison. Oh, wow, okay, a little bit more poison. Good. We are fully engaged, I like that. Alright, moves up. Rallies everyone with uh, his cry. And then nicely hits this guy. Okay, cool. We're getting some extra valor.
Diddy G moves over to here. One hit. Heavily injuring this guy. And we're slightly moving up here. That way Andrus can come in, get the full amount of Valor for everyone. Poison. Eight Valor. Hit. Kill. Oh, wow. He's on a roll. Okay. The front line looks good. Much better than I was hoping for. There's another one down. New round is starting. That is just what I wanted to hear. The wrong time both of them were the wrong sh uh, targets holy nuggets okay Polly moves up that's what I'm talking about and now we're engaged in melee We have plenty of points to spare. Yeah, but not enough are, enga are actually engaged in melee, so ovation would be a bit of a waste. That, on the other hand, is a great skill. Pushing him uh, out, good. And let's heal, plus remove the poison, and we're getting two Valor back. Fantastic. Hits his own friend, even better. <laughs> nice in position moves up and decimates this guy weakening him okay cool okay almost dead Fantastic. Good, we're going to take Jim's shout yet again next turn. It's 
some poison over there. Some strikes over here. With a little bit of backstabbing, thanks to uh, Captain Anders. And let's move back. This fight is much easier than the last one that we had. There should be an option to just get burning off. I mean, we could heal ourselves, but... It's so stupid that you continue to burn. Even if you could spend time. Something like Hunker Down and XCOM would be good. Moves up. And the good old spear to the stomach. A tactic that has uh, worked since the ancients. Heals, gets a Valor back and cures up the, the burning status, which Polly doesn't give a damn about because he's on a mission and that mission is killing poachers. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now we're talking. Cool. Longer battle than expected and we're almost out of repair kits. We got a level two hand with a two, a two hand axe with obliteration. Going to figure out uh, whether or not that's better. And whoa, 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 whoa. What in the ever loving embrace is this? This hammer uh, leaves the characteristics and, imprison, uh, and impressions on the victim's flesh. A peculiar way of decorating the battlefield. Strength plus 12. Wait, what? Two-handed mace. Well, Grell is the only one who could use that. And Dagon's Punishment deals eight dam uh, damage damage to all units in the area. I mean, listen, it is a phenomenal hammer. Oh. Makes me want to use it. I would really, really, really like to have uh, the ability of JP Pauly to... Uh, to uh, just use that hammer. On the other hand, I'm thinking. This guy here is a sentinel, right? Pauly. Um, he can wear heavy armor. It's just a little bit slower, but he has sprint, so that's not a problem. How about... How about I'm creating a one-hand axe and giving him a shield? That way he can be the tank. And Miss Grell will take that absolute beauty of a hammer and goes to town with that. For me, that seems like a very reasonable suggestion. But before we follow that path, let's take a look. 
Daily G. I wanted willpower to 15. If we can get kind of our base decks up, not a problem, but we need to get willpower to 15. So level five skills. Each time this unit lands a critical strike, it applies bleeding on top, which would be good. Every two attacks, it applies vulnerability. The next attack automatically will suffer a, um, a critical hit. That's great. Ooh, and that one would be even better. But for now, since we have a limited amount of animals, um, I like I like the vulnerability a lot. Bleeding, of course, on top would also be fantastic. Now, we already have 21% crit chance, right? This here effectively means that Every third attack would be a crit on top of it, so a guaranteed crit. Hmm. Bleeding, on the other hand, is a way of dealing with uh, heavy armor targets. Both together would be very good. I tell you what, maybe we let him do the bleeding and Zoe, once she's level five, can actually do uh, the rest. First of all, we're upgrading dexterity for her. Tw uh, 12 to 20. Yeah, we're like 26 uh, dexterity is great. I like that. Critical hit chance is also great. But this episode is running well over. Guys, listen. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if uh, you want to support the channel, leave a like or a comment down below. And make sure if you want a Dagon's Hammer itself that you stamp uh, that, uh, that uh, Dagon's pattern into the like button. Smash it as hard as you can. Let me know if it actually left its mark on the like button. Take care. And see you in two days. Bye-bye.